And now, please welcome NTA President Catherine Prather. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're enjoying your lunch. At dinner the other evening, a member was telling me that he really appreciates how NTA is, is always evolving. You know, just as your businesses are changing, NTA needs to constantly be working to, to remain relevant. One thing you told us on a member survey is that the shifting demographics are really impacting your business. You know, how those Gen Xers and the millennials, how do they travel? They're the future of this industry. And so we needed to find out what, what do they want from an association, for example, and how do they travel? So we tapped into the bright young minds that we have in our association and we created our Young Professionals Advisory Group. It's a lot like UMA's Young Guns. And along those lines, we have some bright minds of the future with us, and I'm talking about our Tourism Cares Scholarship recipients. And we have 28 here of them uh, here with us, and they are from the US and Canada, and they're working toward their bachelor's and their master's and even their doctoral degrees in tourism and hospitality. So I'd like for them to stand so we can recognize them. They're the future of our industry. Thank you for being here. I hope that you've had a rewarding experience. And I know that you've really enriched the experience for our 100 NTA members who have been your mentors this week. So I would like for them to stand so we can recognize what you have done to help the young minds of the future. And speaking of Tourism Cares, we do have some board members here with us, so I would like to recognize Terry Dale with USTOA, Zane Kirby with ASTA, Ellen Lurs with Book My Group, Greg Takahara with Aon Berkeley, and we also have Mike Ray, who is the CEO of Tourism Cares. Thank you for your service. And one last thing about Tourism Cares, and it's Tourism Rocks, our great dance party and fundraiser that is tonight. Shuttles to start departing at 9, so for all those young people out there, at 9 from the Travel Exchange Hotels. So the, the tickets are $60 at the door, but for all of the tour and motor coach operators out there, you can thank our sponsors, Best Western, Las Vegas, and Hard Rock. <laughs> for um, for the welcoming eat, or getting you all to the to the party this evening. So I know that you all want to get nourished before you do all of that dancing. So we have our dine around this evening. It's at the original farmers market, and we have our transportation schedule that's going to be posted at NTA Central, which is sponsored by Amtrak. But the shuttles do depart from the Pico Drive entrance, and then you're going to go back to your travel exchange hotels after after your dine around. So if you have any questions, stop by and see our partners at LA Tourism and they can help you. And now I have the honor of recognizing a very important member of the NTA family and that is our shining star for 2014. So this award goes to a company, a destination, a partner that has had long time committed support to NTA. And for the past 20 years, this consistent and dedicated and valued sponsor has been with NTA, done things like our, our opening ceremony, our issues luncheon, our annual business meeting, and today's luncheon. So please join me in recognizing our 2014 shining star, the state of Alaska. <laughs> Kathy Dunn. Kathy, you want to come back up to the stage? production meetings and we hid the remarks and everything from her so she wouldn't see this. <laughs> well, I do have to tell you I am very, very surprised and on behalf of the state of Alaska, I do thank you all. Um, I do want to point out that really this award should go to all the Alaskans in the group. They work so hard to make sure that, you know, you guys all feel supported and help you put your itineraries together. So again, to all the Alaskan businesses in the room, thank you and all the organizations are 
our DMOs, our Convention and Visitors Bureau. So again, this is for all of the Alaskans in the room. Woo woo. <laughs>